me, AOC! AOC! Wow, it is an ignominious honor indeed to be the worst person in Congress. I mean, you gotta sail right past Schumer and McConnell and Pelosi. Mitt Romney, oh, you, but congratulations. AOC, you've done it. You, re, you really did it. You, you made it to the top. Congratulations. Let's find out what the hell I'm talking about today on Thoughts With Things with Greg. Yeah! So here we are from the New York Post. AOC blasted for exaggerating her trauma from Capitol Riot Experience. Have you, have you seen the video? I'm not going to play it. It's just disgusting. And, and obviously it's not, it's not true. She actually gets up and, and, and shows you where the door is and where she was. But apparently she wasn't even in the building. She was in the Cannon building where her office is. They're not even the same. Her building wasn't even uh, breached. Uh, she escaped to a different building altogether. She was evacuated to a different building altogether. So this whole idea that Ted Cruz almost killed her is, well, it was nonsense before, even if she was in the building. It's nonsense now, and it's nonsense then, and it'll continue to be nonsense, and she's just going to continue lying. Remember when, and she's just going to continue lying about it. Remember a while back now, seems like forever ago, when she took pictures in front of the holding facility on the border, and she was crying (laughs) in front of the chain link fence because... The children, the children being held there. And then you look and it's just a parking lot. Yeah, I remember that. Well, she didn't get any trouble. So I'm, I assume she's probably not going to get in any trouble or be censured or, or whatever. But guys, she was lying. Let's dive into it. This week, the progressive poll shared more details of that said encounter during an Instagram live. AOC was in her office while Wouters stormed the Capitol, which is located in the Cannon Building. The building is part of the overall Capitol complex, but it is not within the Capitol building itself. So they went to the dome. She's over yonder. Oh my goodness, they're breaching. And you got you made up this story. I mean, honestly, I've seen you talk about it. You, you acted like they were running right past you, and that didn't happen. Didn't happen. Shame on you. You know, I would have done this story a long time ago, but I couldn't. I don't know where the Cannon building is. I don't know if it's connected to the Capitol. I've never been to D.C., I don't think I'm going to anytime soon. It's all locked down and crazy, but I didn't know that. I can't verify any of this. So when it came out, it's like, you know, AOC, AOC. Anyway, she remained barricaded in her office for hours, which is not the office building that was breached, mind you. Uh, She remained barricaded in office for hours when a man who turned out to be a Capitol Police officer rushed into her office director to, in, to direct her to a safer location for lawmakers. The officer, AOC said, had anger and hostility in his eyes, making her question if he was trying to pull her in a vulnerable situation. Still, she opted to trust him and not pass judgment, even though she did, and he was doing the right thing, and you're safe now because... She, oh, shame on you, man. Just, uh, you are the worst! Shame on you. The 31-year-old lawnmaker then became emotional, revealing that she had a sexual assault survival, which caused her to struggle with the idea of being believed. That's the she gave no details about the assault or when it took place, and there's no police report either. That's the, the struggle, she said, kept her from speaking out initially about her experience at the Capitol. That's the They're building... Here, here, here you can see. Yeah, um... Here's the building, the United States Capitol. Here's where she is. So they breached here, not even connected, separated by a large promenade, a field, a grassy knoll. Oh, dear. Watch out. And a big-ass street. Or is that a river? No, that's a big-ass street. Anyway, here's where she is. Over here, the Cannon Office Building. Nowhere close. And see, and here's a, here's a representative Nancy Mace. A Republican, my office is two doors down. Insurrectionists never stormed our hallway. So, yeah, emotional, manipulative, terrible, making a bad situation all the worse. Like the Democrats love to say, never let a crisis go to waste. Well, congratulations, AOC. You didn't let this one go to waste, although we called you on it, and you should be hiding now. You should be hiding under your desk because of the flack, but you're not gonna because you're a piece of crap. She is just... 
the worst person ever, and I'm sick and tired of talking about her. What do you what do y'all think about this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Wow. You <clears throat> wow. On thoughts with Greg. On thoughts with things with Greg.